Over the past couple weeks, Epic has become notorious for making last-minute game-changing updates, and not everyone is a fan. One of the most recent updates was the introduction of Ballers, which were quickly integrated into Fortnite's competitive play. They were also abused as a meta for easy endgames and fast points, which has given players mixed reactions to their addition. In this guide written by Beyond, we're going to give you guys advanced tips to get easy wins in Arena at all levels, while securing endgames in every game, thanks to the Ballers. So what exactly is a Baller? Well, I think we already all know that. The Baller is a vehicle item that spawns in exactly 21 locations all around the vast Battle Island. Each of these locations spawn a different number of Ballers, meaning some contain more Ballers than others, and some are in more secluded areas for players looking for a less aggressive approach. The first step to utilizing the baller correctly is to perfect your landing in one of these 21 spawns. Now there's a major mistake many players tend to make when landing for ballers. Instead of landing on the ballers themselves, they land on loot nearby in an attempt to fight off other players. Not only are you risking getting eliminated here, but most of the ballers will get snatched up anyways. Now you're left out in the open with no materials and limited weapons at your disposal. Therefore, the best strategy for attaining a baller in the early game is to drop directly onto the baller and grab it before anyone else does. One of the best areas when landing for ballers is the mountain next to Lonely Lodge and Frosty Flights. That's because there's a high concentration of baller spawns here, meaning you have a higher chance of getting one before they're all taken. Once you've obtained a baller, you have increased speed and agility. The best way to use ballers for looting is by traveling all around the map in the early game, finding isolated locations where you can loot without having to worry about your baller being stolen or destroyed. Now, in order to find good locations to loot, look at your mini-map at the top right of your screen. Check for unnamed locations with houses or buildings. These areas will be your best bet at uncontested loot. Once you've gathered enough loot to hold your ground during the endgame, you must do your best to gather as many materials as possible. To do this, you must once again look at your mini-map. This time, search for areas that are highly concentrated with trees. For brick and metal, you must utilize the baller's ability to fly, gaining height. From this height, you will be able to scan the area around you, spotting stones, cars, and trucks to farm brick and metal from. By now, you should have your preferred loadout and sufficient materials for a full endgame. You're one step closer to that victory royale. But first, find secluded areas that are within the circle where you can set up a baller camp zone. At this point, there are two ways for you to hide with your ballers. One way is to grapple with the ball on top of a large leafed tree, then land on top of the tree to the point where your baller no longer rolls off. This is the more advanced method, but the easier method and preferred method by many pros is the box in. To do this correctly, you must exit your ball once you've found a good spot to box in, and then build a one by one around the ball and yourself. From here, you can make edit plays so you're ready to fight. You want to keep your ball here just in case you get a chance for easy cleanups due to the close proximity of players since the zone is pretty small at this point. To avoid your ball getting destroyed, make sure that you exit your ball once you've built the one by one. This will allow you to spam build in the case of being pushed or sprayed from other players. You only need to re-enter your ball when the storm is moving. That's when you got to get to a different part of the zone. Keep repeating this step until there is one player left or your ball will get destroyed. At this stage of the game, there should be few to only one player remaining, so the best thing to do at this point is to use the grappler on your ball to secure high ground. Then exit the baller and, well, fight the remaining player. At this point, you've already secured many placement points, so it's your time to shine and earn that win. If you have trouble beating the last player at this point, then we recommend you check out ProGuides.com, where we show you how to win last-minute scenarios with the best building techniques from pro players like Mongrel himself. Now, due to players being more advanced at higher points in Arena, the chances of your baller being destroyed in the endgame is pretty high. Honestly, many players will be attempting to poke shots at you while you're rotating, therefore you must know what to do when your baller is no longer available for use. Luckily for you guys, we already have an endgame video coming out soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. If you want to watch that video, then make sure to press the sub button. Now that you guys know the best tips and tricks for using ballers, you can easily get out there and dominate an arena and public matches gaining easy wins. If you found this video informative or helpful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe so you can stay updated on the latest Fortnite tips, tricks, and metas. Thank you guys so much for watching and best of luck on your Fortnite grind in arena.